Hi, brothers and sisters. Okay, so I wanted to get on here, uh, give a little bit of encouragement. You know, we all know how hard it is to wait upon the Lord, to wait on His return. You know, no one, and I mean no one, understands the difficulty you know we go through waiting on him unless you are waiting on him also um you know brothers and sisters i'll tell you i have gone through many difficult things i have struggled with a lot i have uh had hardships as as have all of you as well you know uh raising three kids who as i've said before you know the devil uses to get to me he goes through them and makes them fight you know makes them behave worse than they ever used to um i have you know until about 4 years ago i have been an addict you know, and an alcoholic all my life. Uh, I have struggled with, uh, many different addictions. You know, I was never one of those who chose one thing. Um, throughout my entire life, I, I've, I've been addicted to many different, you know, things. And with that goes, uh, the withdrawal uh you know the sickness and and all of that you know i i have i have gone through that until praise god he delivered me from that but but i have gone through many many difficult things in my lifetime and nothing compares to waiting upon the lord nothing you know he has pulled us out of this world even more in the last few months and when he has done this, it is harder and harder to be here. But be not discouraged. Be encouraged because he is coming. And he is coming now. You know, we just have to endure a little longer. At any moment, he's coming. And <laughs> all the hardships, all the struggles, all the tears, all the sadness, depression, all the anger, anything that we have gone through in this life will be wiped out. We will be in everlasting peace and joy, a peace and joy that we have never experienced before that we can't possibly comprehend that that kind of peace and joy but we are fixing to experience it all we got to do is just stay in his love stay in him and and endure and i know that's that's easier said than done Trust me, I know. You know, waiting on the Lord is not, is it, it, as Sister Judy says, is not for the wimps. It's not for wimps. It's for those who love the Lord with everything they have and would never leave, no matter what. It's for those that do not that are not loyal and obedient to the Lord because of the rapture. It's for those that are loyal and obedient to the Lord because they love them with all their hearts. Forgive me. That's my husband. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> He's into Star Wars. Anyways. um, But it's for those who Jesus is their whole life. That's their lifestyle. That is our lifestyle. And the rapture is a bonus. So, as I said, be encouraged, not discouraged. Because at any moment, 
the sky is going to fill up with lightning. And we are going to see our glorious king. As I've said before, no longer in part, no longer through the veil. <laughs> you know, we will see him in whole and we will hear him in whole. We will know him in whole. He will be standing in front of us. We will hear his voice. We will laugh with him. We will be able to see his full humor. We, we will be able to know his full heart. In the blink of an eye. And these human bodies that are frail, <laughs> that are, uh, they will be gone. We just got to hold on. I love you all so, so very much. And it is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone that we are united. <laughs> and we will be together for all of eternity. And we are bonded. We are bonded. To me, what it feels like is... I am bonded stronger with my brothers and sisters than I am with my family. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a different and strong bond that'll go throughout all of eternity. Hold on, bride. Just hold on. I love you all so much. Shalom.